And going in depth here on these extremely cold temperatures, you now want to bring Yolanda Capusano with Miracle Hill Ministries. So Yolanda, thank you so much for joining us. It's been tough over the past several days. Definitely. It's been very cold, especially what you guys do, offering shelters there to people who need shelter. What has it right. been like over these past four to five days with these temperatures that really we've never seen before? Yes, definitely in the upstate. That's a new one for yeah. us. So we actually run a cold weather shelter during cold winter times. Mm -hmm. So every time the temperature is 40 degrees or lower, we okay. open our cold weather shelter for anyone outside. It is a matter of life and safety, so we do not turn anyone down. Everyone is welcome, no questions asked. As long as they can behave and follow the protocol, they're welcome to come in. It's been very busy, especially yeah. during the weekend. I think we had the highest numbers on December 25th. So okay. normally we can welcome up to 200 people between our four emergency shelters. And we, I think we reached 225, 230 people wow. during that day. Just had to fit them in somehow. Yes, and we did. Yeah. I mean, right. we do what we have to do. We serve them well. We treat them with compassion and love. And we, you know, make the best of it. How would you guys prepare for something like this? Is because, like you said, you, you had record numbers mm -hmm. and you had, oh, oh, in a way, over capacity for your four shelters. So mm -hmm. how do you guys prepare for weather like this? So we knew it was coming. So mm -hmm. we were we made sure that we had everything that we needed: water, paper products, cleaning products, canned goods, coats, blankets, hats, socks, all of that. And the Upstate is a very generous community, mm -hmm. and people stepped up. To be honest with you, we use our social media platforms to ask for donations, and man, it did not disappoint. We had everything that we needed and even more to serve everyone. Good. Moving forward, very beginning of winter here. Yes. This is how we're starting winter. Yes. So moving forward, we still have all of January, all of February. So what do you guys in need of at this time? And do you feel like you now have to recoup a lot of those losses that you had for the past few days? Well, I don't think we have to recoup anything. I think yeah. we were pretty um, prepared for it, let's just say it like yeah. that. But we're always in need of cleaning products, paper goods, and canned goods as well. And if anyone wants to send a donation, they can do it here in Greenville, just taking everything to our food warehouse. Mm -hmm. And that is 725 Keith Drive in Greenville. If it's in Cherokee or Spartanburg, you can just drop it off at our shelters. What are those conversations like there at the shelter when they're, the temps are this cold? Oh, goodness. Everyone is looking for a hot beverage. Let's yeah. just start with that. We have a lot of volunteers and staff working um, around the clock to serve everyone. Because you take someone in, it's not a matter of three hots and a cot, as we normally say. Right. Uh, you need to listen to them if, if they have anything going on, if they come with family members. So it is, it is a very intimate, I would say, um, mm -hmm. atmosphere. Everyone is in need, and we try to serve everyone to the best of our capacity. All right, I'm glad you guys do. Thank you so much for all you do. Thank Yolanda you. Yolanda Capisano with Miracle Hill Ministries. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, thanks.